Hi everyone, this is Stats Trader. On this YouTube channel, I show people how to use simple statistics in everyday trading. Now in this particular video, I'm going to show you how just by using Excel and some basic statistics, you can massively improve your entries when trading large cap dip buy strategy. So let's just jump to my computer and I'll show you the Excel spreadsheet along with some explanations why it actually works. So let's suppose we gathered all these data for large cap stocks and we are left with the averages. So this is the row where I track all of my averages. So when I look at uh, my strategy and I'm planning what to do, uh, the averages are the most important numbers on this whole spreadsheet. So I know that on average, a stock drops 30% from its open to its lowest point. This is a parabolic decline percentage. Now parabolic bounce percentage average 43% means that from this lowest point, a stock went up 43% on average. Okay. Now average gain on the day, I'm going to make it a, a little bigger. 18%, negative 18% means that on average, when I trade this pattern, stock closes 18% negative on a day. And then again, I have my profitable column, so I don't really need an average here. Uh, but for my winning percentage average, it's the same thing. Because uh, I need to know what are my odds when I trade this particular strategy. Now, how can I make this strategy even more efficient, even better, and how can I maximize my profits? Well, the easy solution is basic statistics. If you know basic statistics, if you know basic Excel and some formulas, you can, you can definitely improve your entries to maximize your profits when you trade this particular pattern. This is GNUS. This stock happened on June the 4th and this was my perfect pattern for this particular stock large cap did buy so let's go ahead and see what happened here so the stock opened at 957 it went all the way up to almost $12 and then it tanked and it went down all the way to $4 right So now under my ideal conditions, and as I mentioned before in my previous videos, I would need to wait for two green candles for me to even enter this trade. As you can see, stock dropped 56% and then it didn't really have any two green candles. So ideally for this strategy, you know, I wouldn't even enter, I wouldn't even bother trading this particular pattern in this case, had I waited for green two green candles because all of the bounce was wasted. So this 100% bounce was wasted. And I wouldn't normally trade it. Now let's go back to the Excel spreadsheet and I'll show you how can you fix this problem. So since we're recording the entries and we are trying to improve the entries now logically that we're going to be focused on this parabolic de decline percentage because we need to know at which point it's absolutely best to buy or at which point we'll have the, the lower risk and the higher percentage of bounce so let's suppose this is our data and uh, for this, this is uh, actually your data distribution. So you have your mean and mean for me is, or the average, pretty much the same thing. Um, here it's 30%. So we know that the data distribution for my parabolic decline percentage is 30%. This is what's the average uh, decline on the stock, uh, on the sets of stocks that I trade the penny stocks and it's 30 percent now you know that there's three standard deviations and um, 
basically within within these two standard deviations you have 68 percent of all your data but we don't really care about this left part of the data because i don't want to know if it's worth it to buy at let's say uh, parabolic decline 20 percent or parabolic decline 15 percent or 11 percent i don't really care about that because I already know that the best odds are 30% or more. So what I need to do, first of all, I'm going to need to focus on the parabolic decline percentages that have that away from my mean by one standard deviation, two standard deviations, or even three standard deviations. So I'm going to show you how to calculate it. First of all, let's go ahead and calculate the standard deviation. So in your Excel, you hit equals ST deviation, and you can either choose standard deviation uh, population or sample. Me personally, um, I use population. Um, maybe I should use sample, I have no idea. If you guys are mathematicians or statisticians, you know, write in the comments which one would you rather choose. And, um, but yeah, anyway. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and take all of these data here in this column. And we know that, and let's go ahead and change it to percentages, right? So we know that the standard deviation is 11%, which means we have a mean of 30%, right? And with a standard deviation of 11%, it's one standard deviation away from the mean which means uh, we basically take average uh, or mean plus these 11%. And that means is this entry is going to be significantly better than our mean. And we have a higher chance of winning on this trade. And we're also going to win a lot more money when we trade it uh, this way. So we know that standard deviation is 11%. Now, <clears throat> we need to know this level. So again, it's a very simple formula. We just take average plus standard deviation. And we know that at 41% drop, it's much better to, to buy. And the odds of winning are going to be much, much higher. So what about standard deviation plus, uh, I mean, Sorry, mean plus two standard deviations. Well, let's go ahead and do the same thing. We we'll take the average of the uh, parabolic de decline plus a standard deviation times two. And that's 51%. So we know that at this level, mean plus two standard deviation, our, our drop is 50%, which massively increases our win winning percentage and also decreases our risks. And in a second, I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So this is my previous problem. If you guys remember, in normal conditions, I would have waited for two green candles. And if I had waited and I had um, perfectly followed my statistics and my strategy, I would have completely missed this huge bounce of 100%. But now that I know that my average drop percentage is 30%, so right here, my standard deviation is 11%, so my next drop is going to be roughly 40%, right? And my second standard deviation drop is going to be 51%, so right here. As you can see, this stock opened, went up, and then it tanked, and it closed. I mean, uh, it halted, so they closed the stock for 30 minutes or an hour, and then it reopens right here. So knowing what I told you guys in this video, what would I do now? So now as soon as it opens, I would buy it without even thinking because my parabolic 
drop percentage of 51% is two standard deviations away from my mean. So basically, it's, it's a free money, what I call. And these are the best trades. The best trades um, on which I have made the most money were made using this statistical method. On this particular trade, I remember trading it back in June, I made almost $700, and I think my account was only like three or $4,000. So I had a really small account. And um, this particular method helped me to maximize my profit. Now, what, where would I put my risk? I would put risk the same way I would normally do. So below this level, and then I look at my parabolic bounce percentage and on average it's 43%, right? Well, guess what? If you have your drop two standard deviations away from the mean, it's not going to bounce 43%. Most likely, it's going to bounce a lot, a lot more. And in this case, it bounced almost 100%. So that's it for the video, guys. If you like it, hit the like button subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be sharing a lot of very useful content that helped me to turn my 950 bucks account into 16,000 in under eight months. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.